Hey Libra, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. I'm going to see what wants to come out, past, present, future, usual business. If this does resonate, like, share and subscribe. It's always greatly appreciated. First card out, money, 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 money. Okay. There's a way of making money that you may already know. You may already have had this download or it's like you've had this idea and you're like, no way. This is too easy. This is too fun. This is too exciting. This couldn't possibly be. It feels like spirit sat your ass down to say, yes, it can sit down and take a look sit down and take a minute before you run off in a different direction because you just don't believe that something could be possible it is possible but it does mean walking through very deep rooted fears things that may have stemmed from childhood when it comes to do with fear of losing money or fear of gaining some kind of profit there's a lot of fears that are going to be have to be faced. A lot of them, things emotionally you're going to have to work through to make this one move. But the move itself is a very simple move. You know what to do. You literally, it feels like you've had the step by step. You know exactly what to do. It feels like there is no risk or the way you can do something. It's like it is such a prevention of risk. Maybe in terms of it's something where you don't even make an initial investment, like making money without even putting money into something. I'm not saying it is that, but something like that, where you can't even see where this could possibly go wrong. But it, it, that's why it feels like it's such a risk. This is something connected to your purpose. This is something that's your truth. This is something that is just you. Yes, it is going to mean that you're going to be making a lot more than maybe you have ever made before yes it's going to feel like a miracle yes it's going to feel like it's too good to be true but it's not <laughs> split the deck the sun this is something you prayed for it's like slow down realize it's here don't move past this you've got what it takes you've been prepared for this hermit past energy conflict lack confusion not making a decision it's like not acting on your intuition, knowing what you feel called to do, but not being able to do it because it doesn't feel possible. Maybe it's not physically possible. It feels like something that actually you, you thought, no, this isn't possible. It wasn't a case that it's not physically possible. It's not a case that you're not physically capable. It's a case that there was some kind of emotional block, some kind of narrative, some kind of limiting belief that maybe had you in a place where it was like, there, you might as well do nothing because you don't want to entertain an old path, but the new path isn't possible. It was like you've been slowed right down to see that, yes, something is possible. Some kind of heartbreak needed to be processed. It feels like feelings from the past maybe blurring your intuition, not being able to fully connect to yourself, maybe being in survival mode, maybe just having sleepless nights about someone from the past. You could have broken up with someone a while ago or something could have just like going back and forth in a situation, knowing something's over, but still kind of entertaining it or just knowing something's not working, but not knowing how to leave that situation. It's like this is. It's like this is leaving your being now. Nine of Cups. Wishes and dreams coming true. Oh, hello, Nine of Cups, King of Cups, Death, and the King of Wands coming out in one go. Guys. Okay. 
a lot has had to happen to balance things out. It feels like you could have really been feeling like you're being thrown all over the place. Completely losing balance. You could have really felt or believed like you were just getting something wrong, like something's not been working for the whole entire time. When it's like realizing that the whole time you were being prepared, you were being like fine tuned, you were being. It's like it was all part of the dream, even the struggle, this transformation. Something's coming through, something really oh, is actually, I don't know. It was so many different contrasting feelings that come through me when it was happening, but I was basically just chilling outside today and this beautiful, like, creamy white butterfly come and landed by me. And I was just like tuning into its energy and just like appreciating it and thinking about how short their lifespan is and what they go through to even get to that point. And I could kind of see that there was a little tear in one of the wings. And I was like, what? But I could see like, she was like flapping her wings. So I was like, okay, she's okay. Like the wings are moving. And as I was watching her, it's like literally in front of me in really slow motion, she just changed color like from this beautiful cream to this sage green, like this dull green, kind of similar to the grass. And all of a sudden something just didn't feel right, like she was there too long. And when I went over there, it was like all these ants started attacking her, like obviously she had come to the end of her time. And just something in me just like, I don't know, like it was just so, sad to see but then obviously it's just the cycle of life my first like my initial reaction was just like to pick her up and to move the ants and to bring her inside and see if she was just injured or if it was really that but it was like it was she had gone and then I just spent ages trying to work out the message like the way this butterfly came to me the way that I had like seen this process and just having to really accept and then not knowing what to do with her like she was so beautiful just laying there like obviously she's not alive anymore but she was just there because obviously I was trying to see if she was and then I was like now what do I do with this and it was like there was just something so sinister about putting her there for, it just felt wrong to put her there to get attacked by the ants when she's just so beautiful but then it was like she's not getting attacked by the ants the ants are doing their job like this is the cycle of life still I couldn't and I ended up just like placing her on a flower and just like I don't know of course same thing's gonna happen and it just kind of come to me how we really do that we all come from like we are the earth we are the soil our body the earth like we are the dirt and we go back to the dirt. And just like that, her time here, it was just like, there was something very beautiful, something very spiritual about witnessing that. And I was trying to work out like, what is the sign? Like, is a transformation coming to an end? Is my self-sabotaging um, tendencies bringing me to another kind of end? And I've just torn my wing. Like all these different things. Or is this just because I need to just accept that I need that this is part of life because I struggle to accept things like that? Or is it just nothing? And like life is the meaning we give it and stop driving yourself mad and just appreciate everything you get to experience in this life, including something like that, that may have been sad. There's something here about really appreciating all the ups and downs, the beauty, the grief, the sadness, the pain, and really celebrating it all, that to feel is to be alive. And just like that, it's like, what does it all mean? Like, 
even the greatest of the great, like the Michael Jackson of greats, you don't think about on a daily, some people do, I think about it a lot, but not like that, like this butterfly, how many people actually got to enjoy her? How much did she get to enjoy? And then she's just, it was just like, appreciate every moment. And nothing really matters. So what really matters to you? I feel like things are so fast paced, especially like, I always say this in today's world, but in today's world, things are so fast paced. We miss the beauty of things. Queen of Cups, slow down, get into your heart space, come back to basics, come back to nature, celebrate those the kind of things. The way I've been trying to do that recently is just like slowing down um, maybe just listening to the sounds of nature without music. As soon as I rise, going for a walk and just breathing in the fresh air. Even the things like just watching the animals play, the dogs play in the park or whatever it is. Even observing nature, like how things grow, how things bloom how long they take to grow, maybe planting things, gardening, growing um, different herbs, fruit, vegetables, whatever it is, nine of pentacles. It's like everything you do, everything you connect to, everything you touch, savour it, honour it. Something's coming through. Is it Tyson Fury that says about it's a moment in time? That all we really have is moments in time. It's like, how are you feeling in the present right now? And just be in it, whatever it is. It feels like that's what you're being asked to do to really slow down, to tune into your intuition, the moon and the sun. Yeah, there's a mosquito going around here right now, driving me absolutely. He's a noisy little fellow. I was like, I'm not doing it. Can you get him to go? Because I'm not doing it. And then I sat down and it flew out. And I was like, oh, I can't concentrate. And then just now, I just come back. Overthinking um, is something that always comes to mind with a mosquito because I like the noise. Of not being able to settle, like um, racing thoughts. Something wants to be transmuted, something wants to be shifted. You could be breaking down a lot, feeling a lot of pressure, maybe even in your chest, you could be having um, like symptoms for like ascension symptoms. Some of you could be experiencing um, all different kinds of things. You could be feeling physical, like pressure in your chest um heart chakra activation trust and allow know all is well don't let your thoughts run away with um fear because the more you think something the more you'll feel it in your body you can bring things on you can bring things off yeah nine of swords the wheel of fortune ace of swords cutting cords with anxiety End of a karmic cycle. Feels like you've grounded yourself. Um, healing the root, healing the root chakra, healing the root of whatever issue, any kind of um, self sabotaging tendencies. <laughs> how you see yourself empress star 
devil, external influences. <laughs> you asked for the truth, you got the truth. What is this? Okay, you had an idea. You've had an idea. This idea is something for the long term. It's something for the future, something that you want to thrive for the future. But in order for it to thrive in the future, it needs to be nourished now. Something may take longer than you think, or it's like, don't make something a project. Don't make something a task. Make it a lifestyle. It feels like the way and how long you want to be doing something or how you want to create something that um, it's going to be easier for you to create a lifestyle to support that. Everything you're doing, it's like this is going to be an ongoing thing, that kind of stamina. Um, how are you looking after yourself mentally, physically, emotionally? What are you eating? What are you watching? It feels like you're being asked to really absorb yourself in... your dreams and the style of whatever it's like whatever this project dream business embodies how can you also embody that throughout the day magician how can you put things around you how can you create a routine that It's like embodying your business, embodying your brand, your brand embodies you. It's a, it's a oneness of things. Instead of making something separate from you that you're trying to create over there, how are you, it's like being a, a one with this thing you're creating, whatever it is. The world. Um, something's coming through about heartbreak. It could have been the end of a commitment. Some of it could be the end of a marriage. Three of Swords, Two of Cups, Justice, Ace of Cups, The Moon, Ace of Wands, moving onwards and upwards. Change of course. Something may be being exposed to you in terms of something you may intuitively thought about a past partner that it comes to light that something was what you thought it was. It feels like you've moved on from this, but there may still need to be cords cut. There may still be some kind of attachment. Um, it feels like whatever this information is or whatever comes to light, whatever is revealed, it's gonna give you, it's like you have no other option but to protect your energy. It's gonna give you no, it's not, it's gonna take the option out of your hands to go back to something that maybe you would have, for whatever reason that is, maybe it's just your own standards. That whatever this is, that you wouldn't be able to do this, to go back to it, and that's gonna be different for everyone. Like, some people would be able to go back to somebody that's been disloyal, some people wouldn't. Some people would be able to forgive something. Like, it's gonna be different. Everyone has different ideas of what they think is right and wrong, so, Follow your intuition on that. But there's something here where it's like, it's going to give you that final push to go on the way, to, t to say yes to this new path unapologetically. It's like cutting those final cords. You may meet somebody on your travels. My mum was watching this film. Um... Love at, love at first sight I think it's called um, I didn't see all of it but I just caught a bit of it where it was like she meets this guy on a she catches a flight and meets this guy or this guy meets her on a plane and it's like fate like a um, like you couldn't write it like they happen to meet at this certain time and they're in the same place and then it's like the people that they're meeting that are separate and not knowing each other. It's like thing that thing of like of fate, nine of pentacles. Take the first step. 
be brave enough to take the first step, be vulnerable, be open. You never know what you're going to find along the way. It could be in terms of love, it could be in terms of business, it could be in terms of both. But it's like, enjoy the adventure, enjoy the ride. There's some fear about taking action here. Or is that waiting for something to change before you take that action? The action you feel called to take is what's going to make the change. It feels like there's been so much inner work done here. There's been so much physical work done here. That you are like respecting your own energy, taking care of yourself, moving from that higher place. You're ready for these changes. These changes are here. These changes you prayed for are here. The tower for assaults. Surrender through these. Even when things look like they're going wrong, they're shifting things to get it right. Let things balance out. The pieces will fall into place. There's a message that there's nothing to worry about, but what's the point of saying that? If you're worried, you're worried, but there's nothing to worry about. Yeah. Be mindful of stress. And the, for me, the best way that I find for me when I feel like something's not working the way I want it to or things aren't going the way I want them to or I'm worried about the future, I just come back to the present. Or it's like if I get into that place of what if this doesn't happen, what if this doesn't work, then I'm like, okay, what if it doesn't? What if nothing changes? What if nothing gets any better or any worse than where you are right this second? What if this is it? Come back to the present moment. Then when you're there, it's like, find something to be grateful for. And you can use so many different things to do this. So for me, it's like sometimes I'll just run like a relaxing bath and I'll be like tune in to really connect to the water and be grateful for that. Even the feelings that it helps you to cultivate, to relax, to unwind, to cleanse. It's like if life was, all life was, was having this bath, then that is splendid. Or like even something standing on the grass, just going to stand on the earth. You don't need anything to do that. And it's like, okay, if this is all that, all that it is, can you find bliss there? Yeah, you can. You can find bliss in anything because you create the feeling. And yeah, the thing helps, it's like a prop. You can feed off that energy. But you can create that energy within you. And when you're really grateful for the present moment and you're really celebrating something that you have right now, that you are right now, that you feel right now, it does help for things to flow because it creates detachment to whatever this thing is that you're, what that's coming in, that you're waiting for. Because in that you're no longer waiting, because you're living, because you're celebrating something that is there in real time. And I'm just using the water and the earth thing because it's like really trying to think of something that is provided by Mother Nature where it's like anyone can find access to that one way or another. Of course, do what feels right for you. It may not be that. Yeah. Yeah. This idea is profound. This idea is you. 
communicate your ideas, communicate and put your ideas into action. Maybe there's something you need to speak, you need to put out, you need to write. There's some kind of fault, it, like it wants to get going, it's developing. Also, there's a there's a time for everything. It's like something was too great to be rushed. Something was too precious to be rushed. Something was too purposeful to be rushed. Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, King of Swords. And what, yeah, Temperance. And what I'm seeing is like a seed to the first little sprout, to the to the full bloom. That little piano -y bit just done my nervous system wonders. Um, what is yeah it's like think back to when you first had the idea think how much has developed think how much you've learned think how it's like parts of the journey are gonna add to what it is you're creating And even with the butterfly thing coming back again, it's like, why don't rush to the end? That was a message that come through. It's like, you're rushing to the end. This is the end. You just witnessed the end. Like, just like that. And of course, it's not really the end, but in terms of how much the majority and myself included not a lot less now but at certain times we'll just complain about earth and life and even now man even today i had the crazy i was like this is like i just i'm done like i'm done and then it's like what lens are you looking through to want to be done like this is paradise yeah there's a lot of buildings in the way of us seeing that paradise it fully gives me Lorax. Have you seen that film? Oh my God, I swear when I see that film, I need, I love to watch anything that just takes me out of whatever headspace I'm in, just as like an escapism, just to switch off, just to go into a happy place. And when I watched that film, I was like, nah, this is crazy. Something's coming full circle. You've been patient, the <laughs> temperance full. Just because something maybe didn't, it's like you could be seeing something as it didn't work the first time, so why try again? It didn't work, so why try again? Something didn't not work. Something was still in the process of being created. Something wasn't finished. There was more to the story. There was more to whatever it was you were doing, there was something you needed to learn, something you needed to know, a part of you that, it's like um, a perspective shift. Something is gonna be completely different, although it's the same thing, it's gonna have a completely different energy than it would if you had rushed to put something out or get something done. Let go of what you can't control. It feels like some of you could be really feeling sad, feeling heartbroken, disappointed, like something hasn't worked, but it's still working. Be mindful of the narrative that you're feeding yourself. Beautiful new changes coming in. Just trust your intuition, trust your first instincts. Set boundaries of what you need to. You may need to communicate that with certain individuals. Reward yourself for all your hard work, being happily and successfully self-employed, cherishing your time alone. On the Empress, three, three, three.
reach out to others for comfort and love you will grow stronger from this situation sadness that will heal with time three of winter three 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 on the clock now um three of swords energy the bear here hibernation interesting i literally i've got this necklace with a bear um a bear paw print on it and it just fell out before this reading but something's coming through about bear medicine hibernation going into yourself into the void it's it's like the only way out is through to avoid because you may be avoiding your feelings by taking action by pushing on by doing more but it feels like you're being asked to let it all go and actually by doing nothing is that you don't even need to try and process just by you letting go surrendering relaxing things will start to um things will start to flow things will start to come through Prince of Spring, this guy's been coming out a lot in the readings recently. Immediate action, a challenge you can successfully manage, a passionate relationship. So a very busy time coming up. You could be seeing 3737 a lot. You're being asked to move, to take action. A brilliant success, the freedom to go in any direction, a journey that's now complete, the world The spider number 43. On this, um, wanting to go on the Prince of Spring, charming, self-confident, passionate, restless, this new relationship. Okay, first page is opened on is Badger 155. Something's coming through about not being aggressive. The thing about the spider, about um, the widow, um, dark feminine energy that unhealthy feminine energy about eating her mate if we're like you're being asked to get into your heart space with this past heartbreak there may have been a lot of defensiveness you may have felt a need to have your guard up it feels like things are happening to really um open your mind and open your heart to this new person coming in Spider is the female energy of the creative force that weaves the beautiful designs of life. Her web has hundreds of intricate patterns which catch the morning dew. She may be telling you to create. Look for new alternatives to your present impasse. She can also be warning you that you are coming too close to an entangling situation. She could be asking you to use a journal to write out and review your progress. If you do this, you will not forget how you are creating a new or different phase in your life. Spider brings a message of a different kind when she sees you becoming a bit too involved in the weaving of your life plans to notice opportunity at the outskirts of your web. If this is the case, Spider gets your attention so that you notice that something you have woven has borne fruit. Congratulations. Spider caught you just in time before you missed the opportunity on the edge of your web of reality. The most important message from Spider is that you are an infinite being who will continue to weave the patterns of life and live in throughout time. Do not fail to see the expansiveness of the eternal plan. The cat. Make time to focus on your own spiritual well-being and connect to the metaphysical world around you. Number 26, Haya. Just and benevolent, he is blessed with compassion and balance. He knows that earthly laws can and must be changed. He likes logical solutions and sees the word destiny as a synonym for change and renewal. Working tirelessly towards realising his ideals, he enjoys travelling and adapts easily to different climates, people and languages. Planet Mars. Reasons for invoking to help us win legal proceedings, to uncover conspiracies, to help us look for truth in order to contemplate divine things. Page number 25. 
I've got the Three of Cups. I think this is Watermelon Tourmaline. One, one, one. It's like, don't doubt yourself. I'm like, is it Watermelon Tourmaline? They're like, well, it's literally the same colour as a watermelon. If this one ain't watermelon, it's all in and one ain't rain, watermelon, it's all in. Um, but it's like, don't doubt yourself. Yes, watermelon doorbell. <laughs> Chakra, solar plexus. The good times are coming as celebration and happiness are indicated here. If you are planning a party or event, you will find you may need to work with others as a team or apply your social networking skills to achieve your aims. Making new friends along the way. If this all gets a little frantic or you feel restricted, focus on your solar plexus and act on your emotions. Watermelon tourmaline is a feel better stone, welcoming fun and humour as well as love into your life. It is also a good time to mark an occasion with a ritual. root chakra courage and faith i embrace courage faith and adaptability as they are needed for me to overcome my fear of change or of the future i regularly remind myself to be positive and open to possibilities knowing that i am the creator of my own destiny i embrace the warrior within me i am not a victim i remind myself to be a warrior not a warrior i feel the fear and i do it anyway i am ready and eager to move forwards warrior energy guys bracelets in description below this one is tiger eye which i just come to mind because of the warrior um message here but these are the other two this is for the capricorn intention pack but there's all the all the signs um and so many different things, depending on what you want to work on, what you want to create, what kind of feelings you want to cultivate. So check that out. Brand is, the brand is based in Michigan. I feel like it's quite a small family run brand. They help to save wild sea otters in California. So check that out if you want. There's a code there for like a discount code. Let me just show you quick the packaging. This is actually, yeah, first one I pulled out was the Tiger Eye. Comes in this little box. A little auto logo. And they come in these little soft bags, which are really cute. So yeah, with every purchase, they donate to help the wild sea otters. There's some lovely pieces on there. There's a necklace on there that I really want to get. It's like a leopard print um, stone. Stunning. Set aside your concerns for now. Be practical with respect to how you proceed. The ability to make anything more beautiful. Meeting someone who can help your dreams come true. Generous, stylish, gracious and practical. Let's see what Alice has for us today. Oh, an invitation, guys. An unexpected invitation, number 13. Hello, where are you off to? I hope it's not dropped off by these guys, but. <laughs> five, five, five. That was such a delayed reaction, but five, five, five. 13, page number 27. In the story, Alice arrived in a clearing where a small house stood and soon discovered that it belonged to a duchess. Coming out of the woods, a strange fish footman 
zoomed along to the front door. An even stranger frog footman opened up and the fish footman delivered an important letter, an invitation from the queen to play croquet. Meaning, something unexpected is about to show up and it seems like good news. It is proof that you are being recognised and appreciated. Welcome it with open arms and a grateful heart. Even though it may require that you adjust your initial schedule, for this is truly a should not be refused type of invitation. The um, spider as well, opportunity, opportunity right on the outskirts of your web 4-7. This is a marvellous invitation coming in. This is going to create some kind of domino effect. It's going to, I'm seeing something spread, it's like spreading off to different areas of your life. In terms of you could meet a lover, you travel with the lover, you meet someone on your travels that does something with business, that does, it's like things just start moving, things just start happening that maybe don't even seem like these things should connect, but it's like perfect piece of the puzzle. This film, it reminds me of this film that, um, and it's coming through this uh, Love at First Sight film. The film in itself isn't like, do you know what I mean? I haven't seen the full film, but the bit that I see, I was like, this is a bit naff, this is a bit, I don't know. It's just like, but there's parts in it and the, the general message of it is basically what's coming through here. But um, I just, I'm saying that because I don't want you to be like, oh, it's going to be a great film and sit and waste two hours of your life, or hour of your life, whatever, but fully intuition, maybe it'll be a cup of tea. I don't know. I need to actually watch the full thing because I walked in when my mum was watching it and just caught like 10 minutes of the flight bit. But maybe there's something in that, why this keeps coming through. You could meet somebody on a flight. Moon in Cappy, focus on increasing financial security and the hair. It is an auspicious time for new beginnings. The moon, number 18, powerful intuitive epiphanies, letting go of worry and fear, understanding the truth of a situation. Take a moment to cleanse your aura, remove any energy you may have picked up. Also perform an aura protection exercise to protect yourself and your energy again. And then we have turquoise aura. People with turquoise auras feel a strong sense of progressing the human race. They are effective multitaskers and very focused when completing tasks, but can get stuck in their own ways of doing things. Turquoise aura, best asset, their ability to work on many problems at once, opportunity for growth, learning other ways of doing things, crystal for balance, moonstone, suggested careers, teacher, freelancer or coach, balancing aura, orange auras. Had to quickly clean up because I just, what a shambles. I just start pulling and then I, it just goes everywhere. But it's just, when I'm in it, I just don't even realise how it's looking to you guys. It just looks like I've just thrown all the decks in the air. So we start on a clean slate for a second. Guys, we've got six of spring and the sun, number 19. Wonderful news is on its way. Smart choices that bring rewards, success and public recognition. And then the sun plans that work out perfectly. Amazing ideas that lead to rewards and commendations. Gratitude for the blessings of life. I'm going to leave it there, guys. If this did resonate, like, share and subscribe. I'll catch you soon. Sending so much love.